Welcome back to Note Card Art School. Uh, this is an art school, but unlike real art school where you have to buy expensive supplies and pay tuition, this one uh, all you need is some note cards like index cards. Let's see. Uh, they come in a pack of uh, where you can get 500 for like, oops, for like. Five bucks or something. Maybe they're less than a penny a piece. That's possible. Anyway, uh, I'm Mark, and you can reach us at notecardartschool at gmail.com. And we are on Pinterest. I put up pictures on Pinterest. And we have a store on Etsy where we sell our note cards at a low price. Because really, we're just trying to get rid of them. All right, uh, let's see. The topic today, today's topic, <clears throat> excuse me, if you will, today's topic is judgment. Now, most artists, you know, we're tougher uh, on ourselves than our critics sometimes. And so that stops an artist from getting anything done. You can't get anything done. Because as soon as you start to make something, you start to hate it or criticize it. You know what I mean? You go, oh, I made this. And then the next thing you say is, I don't like it. So, okay. You can't do that. That's not going to work. You have to make, 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 make. And then later on, you can look through them and see what you think. So we're going to look through some. So here's one. It's black and white. I had a little ink problem. I was using some ink. Uh, I like this kind of ink right here. It's called Noodler's ink. I was using it, but I had an old jar, and I think I had ended up putting some water in it through the years, and and, I, and so it bleeds. You know, I don't like that. What can I tell you? So I only ever got this one to black and white, but I didn't tear it up. You know, I kept it because later on, well, and I think it's in this pile. Later on. I looked at this and I made almost the same thing, but without, you know, the problem. And I really liked it. And there's some other problem here too. Anyway, so don't throw your stuff away. Don't rip it up. It's tempting to rip it to pieces. But don't rip it to pieces. Just save it in a pile of, like, things that I made and I want to look at them again. Some other day. Okay. Here's another one. So when I make art, well, I mean, when I make these note cards, let's say, I uh, I always draw a box because people like a nice, uh, they like square corners, you know, 90 degrees or what have you. And, and all art ends up like this. And then if you do this, if you draw the box in there and then work inside the box, two things. First of all, it's as if this thing has already been matted. So when I stick it in a frame, I'm not going to do it, but when I stick it in a frame, it's going to look done, like finished. And when I say frame, I mean you can get a 4 by 6 inch. This is 4 inch. This is 6 inch. You can get a 4 by 6 inch picture frame at Target, Walmart, or wherever for about 5 bucks, maybe less. So anyway, I draw the square. I'm keeping track of my progress here. And uh, I'm optimistic. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five digits. That means I could get up to 99,999. The next number I'll go to is uh, oh, 100,000. So I could do up to 100,000 of these things. And that's why I leave these blank digits up the front, zero, zero. And that's so I can, you know, I'm hopeful. I'm going to get there. I always sign the work. You want to sign your work. Uh, unless you're super famous and then you don't bother because everyone's like, oh yeah, I know what that is. And I put the year on there just to keep track a little bit. I used to put sometimes the date here, but I don't. Okay, so what do you think of this one? Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I like it okay. It's pretty good. The colors and everything. It's nice. All right, good. Uh, let's see. Here's one. Now this looks unfinished. I try not to leave white. Uh, white is good for this space around here, but I try not to leave white in the picture itself. 
Unless, of course, you know, like, I could have this one just black and white. But I try not to do that. So this one needs work, but it's okay. You can leave off. So the reason I probably didn't finish this one is I was working on it and I was thinking, ah, I just don't love it. I like it okay, but... And then that's a lot of space to fill in with the indelible marker. So I didn't. I just stopped, but I could finish it later. Don't throw it away. You could finish it later. Here's one. Now this one's fun because it's got, uh, here are my favorite shapes, okay, lately. I mean, the straight line, I love him. And I always like the uh, trapezoid. And here's an obelisk. And I seldom put the triangle on top of the trapezoid, thereby making the obelisk, but sometimes I do. This one's like a guitar, or in my mind I call it the peanut. And this is either the ski hat or, in this case, the motorcycle helmet. A plain circle is always nice. All right, so number 471, you know, it's fine. This one I like a lot. And it's good sometimes to go through, like, when I'm talking about piles, like, like, uh, here's what I've got going on. Here's a bunch. And I mean, these are all... They're all drawn. Some are colored, some are not. But I have a lot. So sometimes, oops, sometimes it's good to go through and just decide, like, pick your top ten. As if you're having an art show. What would I hang up on the wall? What would I... Which ones would I like to do? Sounds pretty good. And this one, you know, looks like that black and white one. Where'd he go? And the point there is, it's okay to use your own work to sort of um, work off your own work to make more work. Well, these were one after the other. See, 472. And I, uh, must have had a couple with the 472 number. And then there's 473 right after. So like before, after, before, after. Well, thanks for coming. This is just about looking at your own work. Don't throw it away. Keep it. It might inspire you to make something good. Thanks for coming to Note Card Art School. See you again next time. Bye for now.